Welcome to Marley Controls. I am Mark and today I'm going to introduce to you the Marley LLC Water Level Control Panel. The Marley Water Level Control Panel is used to monitor specific set points in the basin of a cooling tower, such as makeup, or if you want to provide alarming back to a building management system for high and low alarms, or it also provides contacts to shut off pumps in case of high level or low level. This water level panel uses conductivity as a means to determine the level of the water in the basin of the cooling tower. It conducts electricity from a reference probe hanging in the water to other probe that represents different level heights in the cooling tower. This is used in lieu of using a float valve when you're looking for more information back from the control panel back to the building management system. The water level control system consists of five major components. A control panel, which houses the level cards in a NEMA 4X fiberglass panel. This panel is typically located at the cooling tower or it may be located indoors. The other component is the probe set with a conduit box at the top and the hanging probes coming down to the third component, which is a stilling chamber. The stilling chamber resides in the basin of the cooling tower, and its sole purpose is to not only support the probe set here, but also to calm the water so you get an accurate reading on the probes. And then the final component of the system, if you want makeup, is a makeup solenoid valve. Next, we're going to talk about the probe set component along with the stilling chamber. As you'll see here, the probe set is mounted to the top of the stilling chamber and this would reside in the basin of the cooling tower. I'm going to go ahead and remove the probe set from the stilling chamber to show you this to you in detail. These probe sets are available in 31 different configurations depending on how many levels you want to monitor. This particular one has a reference probe which happens to come with every probe set and these individual hanging probes that represent the different water level heights that you want to monitor. The probe sets are hanging from a 18 gauge wire with a 30 foot lead run which takes care of, of most applications. We'll talk more in detail as far as uh, uh, adding onto the wire in the installation and wiring segment of this. Next we have the stilling chamber. If you have a galvanized cooling tower you're going to get galvanized stilling chamber, stainless steel. You'll get a stainless steel cha uh, stilling chamber. In some towers, the stilling chamber may be located external to the tower in which it would be provided with a PVC pipe. The next major component is a solenoid valve. This is used when you have a makeup circuit in your control panel and you want to add water back into your water loop. Basically, real simple, this is an on-off device. You got water in, water out. You have electrical solenoid located at the top. The coil in there to operate the solenoid is 120 volt, or you can also get it in at 220 volt. The control panel provides power to power this solenoid. The control panel is furnished in a NEMA 4X fiberglass outdoor enclosure. It is built to UOL 508 standards and available in 31 different configurations. The configurations include multiple card levels, such as for your makeup, which is quite standard, high alarm, low alarm, high cutoff, and low cutoff. I'm going to go ahead and open up this panel so we can take a look at the inside. With the panel are shipped two user manuals. We're going to look at the inside of the control box and point out the various components. First of all, we put a real nice wiring diagram in here for the field electrician to follow when he's wiring the panel. Inside the enclosure, I want to point out the internal components. We have a main circuit breaker that receives the 120 volt AC power supply from the customer. Or, in some cases, it might be a 220 volt supply. This main circuit breaker has thermal and magnetic short circuit protection, providing protection for the control panel. Once the power flows through the circuit breaker, it flows to the individual cards here. Each card represents a particular level, such as in this configuration, the top card is a makeup card, then we have a high alarm card, and we have a low alarm card. You can also get these panels with two additional cards, the enclosure would just be larger. 
Over here to the right, we have a user terminal strip. The user terminal strip is used by the electrician to terminate the water level probes on the blue terminal points here to get the output contacts going back to a building management system on the gray terminal points and to get 120 volt or 220 volt power out to the solenoid through the red contacts here. Thank you for watching this introductory video on the Marley LLC water level control panel. Make sure you catch the next segment coming up where we're going to be talking about installation and wiring practices for this type of system. This is Mark. Thank you again. Have a good day.